Hey everyone, we're gonna go and we're gonna sex our. Okay, hold on. Quick. We're gonna sex them. Ooh. <laughs> I know. I said, <laughs> sex. Okay. Hey everyone, today we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna sex our Aki monitors. Um. Okay. Aki monitors are a little bit more difficult to sex, so. <laughs> Send the dick. <laughs> Guys, how's it going? We're gonna go ahead and sex our Aki monitors today. Uh, I'll show you how you guys can do it at home because these monitors are a little difficult to figure out if they're male or female. Uh, I tried this briefly on Dell, and she looks to be a confirmed female. Um, I have to try it on Asus too. They're both suspected to be female, but we're not 100% sure. Uh, I will also link a, a research paper below that describes this method all you need is a little, uh, little pen, pen light. I don't know what they're actually called, um, but just a narrow, strong LED beam. Uh, this is what I think like 350 looms. So if you can uh, get something like that, that should be more than enough. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do this, and uh, you can try it at home. So let's go. Real quick before we get into sexing our monitors, I wanted to talk uh, quickly about um, a couple other methods you can use and the paper we're going to use our method based off of. Real quick, uh, a popular method to uh, sex Aki's is to look at um, around their vent area and you can look for these fanning scales. You can see them circling two of them right now. Um, they're a little bit more rough to the touch, but they're a good indicator that you have a male in your hands. Uh, so if you see any like fanning scales, uh, something that's larger, that's probably a good indicator of a male. Uh, also, when you touch it, they'll be a little bit more rough. So you can take your finger, rub it up their tail, and if it feels rough near their vent, it could indicate it's a male. Um, another perspective of that is you can see one jutting out right there. So they're, they kind of fan out. They're a little bit larger. Uh, that's an indicator that it's a male. Another way uh, you can indicate whether it's a male or female is some people can tell by just looking at their face and the broadness of their face and kind of how their point of their nose looks. Um, this is probably more of an ad hoc method. Uh, it's not really refined and it's probably just something you uh, can gain through owning these monitors and knowing uh, what they look like based off of having them for a while. Now this is the paper we're referencing our technique from. This is cited down below in the description, as I mentioned earlier. Um, this individual has uh, is doing this on a different type of monitor species, but it's going to be very similar to what we're doing. And he has done it with Aggies. Uh, this picture is just a different monitor, but it's it's the same concept. So you can see on the left picture, you see two kind of dark, long ovals. Those are the hemipenes, so that is a confirmed male. On the right side, you can see a juvenile male, and you can see those little circles. Um, those are the hemipenes, but a lot smaller because it's a juvenile. Now, if we scroll down, we can see what it looks like for female. Female, you can see on both of them, you don't see anything in there. The light just shines through, you don't see anything. No hemipenes, confirmed female. So this is how we're gonna go ahead and look at Aces and Dell, my two Ackies today and we'll see uh, what, what gender they are. All right, first up is Dell. This one's pretty simple, had no problem with this. We tried this one beforehand, before the video, and we already knew she was female. Um, as you can see, especially in the next cut, um, it's very evident that there are no hemipenes and it shines right through. So Dell, definitely a female. Um, coming up is Asus. Asus was harder to tell, but I'm still gonna suspect Asus is female. So let's take a look at that. See, Asus's tail was a little bit harder to get through. I guess it's a little thicker. Um, probably need a stronger LED light, uh, but I don't see any ovals on the outside. It's a little dark in the middle, and I just think that's because the light's not getting all the way through. So I don't see any hemipenes. I don't see any ovals that are kind of separated. So I'm gonna suspect Asus is female. All right, guys, so it's nighttime here. Everybody's going to sleep. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it was informative. Um, I hope you guys learned how you can go ahead and sex your Aki's or any monitors in general. Again, below, I have the research paper. You can read up on it if you want, uh, and any other relevant information. So uh, enjoy your night. Have a good day. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks.